Hi, my name is Jackie McAlevey. I've been at Life Church now for nearly 23 years. Before I came to Life Church, I went to Boreham Wood Baptist Church. Although, I have to say, I didn't grow up in a Christian home and I didn't go to church when I was younger, so that was later in life. Uh, the reason I went to the church is because of problems in my life, I went to a self-help group. It, at this self-help group, I, I was taught how to li l um, trust in a higher power. And for me, that was always God, because I'd always believed in God. Um, at the, but when I went to the church, I was invited to a baptism and thought I'd like to go back again, so I did. Uh, but I didn't know about this Jesus bit. Um, Jesus was new to me. And so I asked for a series of meetings, a bit like an Alpha course that we do at this church, where I could ask questions and learn about Jesus. And I could quite clearly see, when I read the Bible, how he, went, after he'd risen from the dead, he could appear to, before the disciples in a room as though he'd walked through the wall, and then he ate, and I could quite clearly see he was God and man. So I accepted Jesus into my life. Um, I was then um, at the Baptist church for a number of years, and then I was sent to a church plant where I was on the leadership team, and I was quite happy there. Um, we had a good team. But God said to me, after some years, go back to the mother church. And so, well, you have to be obedient. If God tells you to do it, you go. If he says go, go. And so I went back to the Mother Church, the uh, Boramwood Baptist Church, and I thought, I, at that time, I would put my house on the market because I felt he also said, move house. Every time I put an offer in a pla on a place, it fell through. But you know, I just kept being obedient, and then at the Baptist Church, Individually of themselves, they didn't know what the other people said, three ladies came up to me and said, we think God is sending you to Lincoln. So I said, well, he hasn't said anything to me, and if I'm going to do a big thing like that, I need to hear from God himself. So I started to come up to Lincoln every weekend, looking at different churches. Anyway, to cut a long story short, I put the house on the market again, it sold straight away and I came up to Lincoln then to look for a property, got a property. Prior to this, I'd, because the property kept falling through, I, I gave God a fleece. I said, Lord, I want to be at the centre of your will. I want to be where you want me because I know if I go my own way, way I've done that for years and it does not work. So I said, could you give me a green carpet in the house the way you want me to be. But I'd forgotten that by the time I moved to Lincoln. But when I came to Lincoln, I moved into the house and I couldn't believe it. Every room had a green carpet. It was green carpet all the way through. It was fashionable in those days. Uh, so that was God's confirmation for me. I was in the right, right place. But I didn't know, I knew that I wasn't at the right church. And I, that year I went to Grapevine, as it was there, and I saw a caravan advertising one right near where I lived, a church. Life. It was called New Life Birchwood and Hearts Home, which is what we used to be called. And I went and had word of the caravan, and then, uh, then I started to come to Life Church. Um, it, I had it confirmed, the first meeting, because I said to God when I went to the first meeting, I need a confirmation from you. And I had a prophetic word, and they said to me something that only I knew and God knew. And so I knew right from day one I was at the right place. Of course, I'd never heard of, of because I was a Baptist church background, I had words of people to, just to check what they believed, to make sure it was in line with what I believed. And so that was my Christian walk, to become a Christian and become to Lincoln. And it was a big step for me because I left family, I left my job, I left my home, but God never let me down. He provided every step of the way. I moved in December and in January I had a job. I, you know, I was 52 years of age at that time and you know it was not always easy to find work but I had a job and so I paid my bills and God has never failed to look after me since I've been here. 
In my walk with him, it's a very exciting walk. You just have to be, um, you have to be disciplined. I've been, to, I've mentioned this before, I've been to India, I've been to Poland, I've been to Portugal, all with the church. God, the hardest thing I ever ha found to do, but God has got me to do, was to stand up and speak publicly. And I knew if he could do that in me, there's nothing he can do, because I know now that God is a miracle working God. Nothing is impossible for him, absolutely nothing. And he's worked in me and used me marvelously. I've been really privileged to be in a lovely fellowship. Um, I've, as I say, I've been abroad. I've, been, I've had the privilege of speaking and teaching, um, of leading groups. God has really used me in this way, and I, I'm a really, really happy to just follow Jesus because there's no better way than to just be obedient every step of the way. Sometimes he'll tell you to do it like he told me to go and you don't know where you're going, you don't know what you're going to do, it's, you know there's going to be change but you just have to be obedient because God prepares a way for you. He has a plan and he has a purpose. God did say to me recently, because I know I'm, I'm retired and I'm getting on in age, but he hasn't finished with me yet. You know, there's no unemployment in the kingdom of God. And so I know there's um, things for, yet for me to do, but also I'm in a, a church where we're blessed by the presence of God. And we're, we're in a process, so we're moving forward and there's going to be change. It's going to be a very exciting time. And I'm really looking forward to be part of it. Um, obviously, um, I'm older, and, but then there's a lot of young people and there's things for everybody to do, um, but we're going in a new direction, that's really quite sure of that, just as it was a new direction and a new move for me coming up here as a church, we're on the move, God is on the move and there's going to be new things and we need to keep our eyes and our ears open to what the Spirit's saying because it's going to be a real, real exciting time to see what God's going to do in the future. There's a scripture that's really helped me in my walk. I'd read it before, but it's not until you need it it becomes clear. And it's in it's, um, Proverbs 3, verse 5 and 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will, he will direct your path. So I'm looking forward to the path ahead, not as, just as an individual, but as a church to see where we're going. And so I just want to pray into that. Father God, I just thank you that you're in control. You, you see the bigger picture. You know the plans we ha you have for each of us and you know where we're going as a church. So Father, just guide us every step of the way as day by day, even sometimes hour by hour, we commit our way to you. And we give you the glory for what you're doing because you are a great God, you are a mighty God, and Jesus, you are our saviour. And Holy Spirit, you're there to guide us and we thank you and we praise you in Jesus' name. Amen.